continues here on ABC Sports as we welcome you back to Detroit for the final skater of the ladies short program Yulia Lautova the four time Austrian champion. There's a marked improvement in every aspect of her skating from last season more speed more height in her jumps. And she's back living in Moscow which is where she is originally from. Her opening jump combination is triple lutz, double toe. Oops. And the turn between the two jumps is what is going to destroy the mark on that movement. The two jump combination calls for no turns or steps between the two jumps. Back spin. The leg very weak here. In fact, none of the laybacks that we've seen in this program so far have been A plus. Her improvement is. She's finishing off moves a lot more and skating to the music more than she did last season, relating to the audience. Nice position in this flying camel. Remember, nice there extension. must be, uh, sorry, Peggy, there must be a, a, a minimum number of six revolutions in the landing position. Very charming, isn't she? Yes, I think she left her performance on the practice sessions. Yeah, the, the technique didn't hold her up. She won her first Austrian national championship at the age of 12. She is only 16 at this point. Came in fourth last year at this event. Julia Lautoba. And here is her triple Lutz double toe combination. She reaches back with the takeoff and has trouble on this landing, takes a turn, and goes into the double toe. So she will be marked off it. It won't be a combination. And this is her triple flip. She also had trouble on the landing, but held on to it, so she will get credit for that. Her coach, Marina Kudryavtseva, offering support, and there are the required element marks, 4.5 up to 5.2. And they're generally low because, frankly, she had a lot of problems all the way through that program. And the marks for presentation, 5.0 to 5.5. She finished fourth a year ago at this event. Disappointing short program for Yulia. Well, there's basically very poor technique here. So here are the standings after the ladies' short program. Michelle Kwan, just ahead of Tara Lipinski, Lavren Shook edges out Angela Nikodinov for that third spot. But so far, so good. The first step out of the way for Michelle Kwan. She is with Jimmy Roberts right now. All right, Terry, thanks very much. And uh, Michelle, you said this is not only a new program for you, but it's a new attitude that you've been working on. Try and enjoy the ride a little bit more. Did that help you at all tonight? Yes, I just, um, when I was warming up, I was having a lot of fun, but I was doing a little mistakes, and I was trying to wake myself up. And when I got out there, and I was, I heard the crowd going and it just lifted my spirit and I just let it go and had a lot of fun. <laughs> Is it any easier coming into a new season not wearing the crown on your head? Well, I can't say that because I wouldn't want to wear the crown on my head now, but you know, I'm the underdog now, as they would say, and I just got to go out there and just 
look at myself and just say, I just want to skate my best and not worry about anything else. All right, Terry, well, here we are at Joe Lewis Arena, and it looks like we've got Ali and Frazier. The only thing is we're going to have to wait a little while to see who's playing which role. All right, Jimmy, the first of many rounds that we'll see all season long goes to Michelle Kwan. She is the leader after the ladies' short program, but plenty of time left for Tara Lipinski to come back here in Detroit. The ladies' free skate comes up in a little bit. But first.